Happy belated Mother's Day, everyone. I figured that I would turn on the camera. Don't mind the person blowing off their grass. I figured I would take you around and show you a couple things that I got for Mother's Day. Less my roses because they're in my bedroom, which came from Lindsay and my son Jarrett. It was a dozen of like pinkish purple roses. So I just up potted this yesterday. I actually bought this for myself. Um, if you're new here, maybe you're not. I absolutely love the Gerber daisies. I know that they don't come back every year, but I love them. So I got a yellow and let me show you what else I got. This is that temporary training fence for Trinity. So let's move this out of the way so I can get over here and show you. I got there is the red one that I picked up for myself for Mother's Day that's in this front bucket it may stay here may not and then my son John Anthony got me this beautifulness my echinacea was here I decided to pull it out to put my echinacea somewhere else this is called I may not say it perfectly uh, Deantheus early bird radiance Full sun, cranial. Um, it says it blooms late spring into fall. I absolutely love it. So thank you to my son, Johnny. Um, I buried it down pretty deep, but it's beautiful. And then my roommate picked me up a hibiscus tree because he knows I like them. But I usually don't like having to up pot it and then bring it into the house because it does not live here. So it didn't hurt his feelings. Took it back. And I got this. I planted this in yesterday. Today is Tuesday. A little windy here today, but it's supposed to be 70 degrees. I thought that this was absolutely beautiful. Hopefully, I have it down there enough and didn't kill it. This is where my tick seed was, but Trinity, my roommate's dog, tread all over it and killed it. This is an alpine uh, aster, perennial, full sun. It also does, um, it attracts butterflies. It's deer resistant. Um, but look at these colors. It's like a light lavender and then a darker purple. So I thought that was super, super pretty right there. Uh, the one that my son got me also attracts butterflies. And then let's see, I have another one. This one's probably going to go in the far back. So in place of the hibiscus tree, I got the daisy one that I just showed you. And this one right here, this is the colors. And this one is the Anthea Star Single Superstar Perennial. I love this type of stuff because it'll come back. Um, great for rock gardens, but it doesn't say if this attracts anything, but I'm sure it will. Because the other two will attract butterflies. So this most likely is going to go all the way back there. Yes. Let me show you this real quick on my Mother's Day little video. This is a temporary 50-foot uh, fence, and that's to keep Trinity out of the garden. Hopefully it trains her very quickly because I can't stand it, and I want to take it down. So back to what I received, and my Jared didn't, I didn't get the sale because he's working like a dog. But Lindsay brought over a really cute card from him and Jarrett and some pinkish purple uh, roses. So that was really nice. So I like to have um, perennial things in case you are a new gardener. Annual means it will only live for that season. I like perennial because it'll come back every single year. So with that being said, the hibiscus tree went back for the daisy and uh, this one right here. Super duper cute. Look how cute they are. So I'm probably gonna plant this in the back today and I will show you. Let me back up a minute because things are blowing all over. I will show you again the other two or three as soon as I pick this up. my grow bag from Indiana Backyard Gardener just blew all over 
and you can see two bags of soil down there that's for an upcoming video so stay tuned for that because something's going right over there near that front bed um but yeah my grow bag is like blowing all over because of the winds this morning okay so this one here i am probably going to plant in the back that came from Jimmy, my roommate. Um, those things are mine, and some came from Thomas um, from Mother's Day. And I bought myself the yellow and the red Gerber daisies. Jay had gotten me this, so I dug it up because I originally had it over there. This is going to get a new home today. This is a rosemary bush that I love. And this is... One last look around. This is what my son got me, my 27-year-old son. And you see the tag also says, attracts butterflies. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, let me try to put this tag back because it's windy and I don't want it to fly off. Okay, I think I got it. And then so for the price of one hibiscus tree, I was able to get this and the other one that I had showed you over there from my roommate from Mother's Day. But yeah, just wanted to show you a few things that I got for out my garden. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know I'm a little late putting out my video, but it's been a little chaotic. Um, again, the name of this one, in case you're interested, is the Alpine um, Aster tracks butterflies beautiful I think it's so so pretty so again happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and the dads out there doing the job or even if you have fur babies I hope that you had a blessed wonderful day and yeah I'll catch you on the next video bye bye everyone